welcome back to the channel so in this video we'll discuss about cancer biology so i made a video about cancer biology previously so if you haven't checked it out you may check it out so let's get started for today's video today we're gonna start with a picture that shows the difference between a cancer cell and a normal cell so the first picture is a normal cell and the, whereas the second picture is of a cancer cell so I will show you points of differences between the two and how they are different. So in a normal cell, as you can see, this pair of section, which is viewed at a high magnification, shows how normal tissue architecture becomes deranged in tumors. And in this, a normal humor, human mammary gland and a milk duct is lined by an epithelial cell. So this white portion is a milk duct, which is lined by this purple, dark purple lining, which is known as the epithelial cells. And this epithelial cells is covered wholly by stroma. So this epithelial cell is covered by stroma. So this was the normal cell and this is how a mammary gland looks like at this point of magnification. Whereas when we saw a cancer cell at the same magnification of a mammary gland, we are seeing no uh, milk ducts. So you can see no white uh, spots like uh, not, uh, not these regions which are present in a normal cell. So the difference between the two lies here that a milk duct is covered or the milk duct is closed due to the epithelial cells. So these epithelial cells, as you can see, these uh, purple linings. So these purple linings have grown into a tumor. All right. So the point I want to explain is these ducts are closed. So these milk ducts that you see in a normal cell are closed due to the epithelial cells. So these epithelial cells lead to the closing of milk ducts and these epithelial cells are the cells which are tumorous or which have led to the formation of tumors. So most of the cancers that people deal with are due to the development of tumors and these tumors develop mostly from epithelial cells so more than 70 percent of cancers develop from epithelial cells which lead to the closure of different type of cells where uh, in memory glands we see the closure of the milk duct all right so these closure of milk duct and formation of these linings so these linings are no more epithelial cells these have become cancerous these are tumor cells all right so these are breast carcinoma cells as, as it's a part of memory glands so these uh, dark purple linings as you can see all over this uh, second picture so these purple linings are breast carcinoma cells or breast cancerous cells so these cells spread throughout the body and infect the person so this was the difference between a normal cell and a neoplastic tissue or a cancerous tissue so moving on so these three uh, these are three pictures which i'll be explaining one by one how these pictures are different and how what are the three different pictures explain you so the first picture which is so as you can see these are melanoma metastasis can be quickly identified in mice because of their distinctive dark pigmentation so this part so these two body organs are of a mice so these are tested tested in a mice so how these cancer cells grow so this is a normal uh, lung so these are lungs of a mice so these two are lungs of a mice and whereas the first part is a normal lung and second is the infected lung or a cancerous lung so you can easily point out the difference between the two. So a normal lung pretty much looks like this, whereas a cancerous lung looks like this. So as you can see a development of black spots, a layer of black spot. So, so seen here are the lungs of two mice, in one of which formation of metastasis was almost entirely blocked, and one in which hundreds of metastasis were allowed to form. So as observed two weeks after B16 mouse melanoma cells were injected into the tail veins of these mice. So these, this injection root causes many of these cells to become mechanically trapped into the lungs. So when a normal mice was injected with melanoma cells or B16 mouse melanoma cells, so as you can see development of a layer of black layer, development of a black layer in the lungs of a mice. So these black layers are carcinoma cells. So these are cancerous cells which develop all right in the lungs of a mice so which will be pretty much similar in humans as well so this was an experiment done to show how a lung cancer develops 
moving on with this so talking about the second picture which is of a liver all right so this metastasis in the liver often arise in patients with advanced colon carcinomas so the portal vein in which which drains blood from colon into the liver provides a route for metastasizing colon cancer cells to migrate directly into the liver so this is a liver cancer all right so this is a term which we call as a liver cancer so these are white spots so white cancer cells so white metastasis or white cells which have formed in liver which lead to formation of more and more infected cells in that body organ so this so infection of the liver arises from the colon arises from human colon all right so the uh, so when the blood drains or when the blood flows from a colon to a liver so the transfer of infected cells or transfer of cells occurs from a colon to the liver cells all right so when blood flows from colon to the liver cells the it provides a route for metastasizing colon cancer cells to migrate directly to the liver so where so if a colon is infected so furthermore the infected cells of colon gets transferred to liver via blood all right so colon and liver are directly related through the blood passage as blood from colon directly travels to liver so when a infected colon or colon carries cancer cells so these cancer cells are directly transferred to the liver via blood and this is how the liver gets infected so moving on with this so talking about the last part of the video which is the breast cancer so this is how a breast cancer looks this is a very magnified picture of a breast cancer so which often metastasizes to the brain and here large metastasis are revealed post mortem in the light in the right side of a brain where the dura membrane covering of the brain has been removed so this is a very much related to a brain all right so this was uh, a very much similar picture that is seen in a breast cancer that we saw previously so this breast cancer mainly is directly proportional to the infection to the brain all right so brain sends signal to different parts of the body and thereby the breast or the mammary glands get infected due to the signaling of the brain so this is a part of a brain or right side of a brain where the dura membrane covering shown at the intact portion has been shown so as you can see development of white spots these overgrown regions which shows the growth of the tumors is been shown so which is very much similar to the breast cancers so let's just keep this video till here i'll be back with another video very soon so stay tuned and thanks for watching this video